Hello, I'm John Liu, and I'm very pleased to be able to communicate with you via this video. I only regret that I can't be with you in Mali for this launch of the What If We Change site. Over the last 16 years, I've been studying how the natural vegetation and organic materials in the soil interact to naturally regulate the hydrological cycle. And I've seen this repeatedly in many parts of the world, and especially in China. One thing that became apparent early on is the connection between damaged environments and human poverty. In many parts of the world, there's been a vicious cycle. Continuous use of the land has led to subsistence agriculture. And generation by generation, this has further degraded the soils. The vital question we have to ask is, can this destructive process be reversed? When I first filmed Mr. Ta Fu Yuan and his colleagues back in 1995, I had no idea this initiative could achieve such dramatic results. The effort that people put into converting their slopes into terraces has resulted in a marked increase in agricultural productivity. The higher yields are directly related to the return of natural vegetation in the surrounding ecological land. Another thing that I've noticed all over the world is that the native, indigenous, and endemic vegetation is specially suited to the climate. And it can't be replaced just arbitrarily with other types of, of vegetation. Now in Mali, what we've seen is that large areas have lost very specialized vegetation. a lot of this very specialized vegetation like the Borgo grasses and the acacia kirki in the flood forests have been disrupted and, and many of them have been lost. When this is lost, the hydrological cycle suffers. It's a wonderful thing it's possible to change. It's possible to restore degraded ecosystems and that everyone has a role in this. This is where I think Mali has the greatest chance to improve its food security, to improve its developmental trajectory, to increase the standard of living for the people, and to increase the ecological function. And interestingly, this is all carbon sequestration. So when you increase the, the vegetation, you increase the organic materials, you're sequestering carbon, you're in line with international efforts to mitigate and adapt to climate change. So best of luck to everyone in Mali. I hope to see you soon.